I'm sorry if this is shaky, but I'm handheld right now. I'm outside, not near any of my camera holders, and I'm using my cell phone. So if this is too shaky, turn it off, don't watch it. Otherwise, watch it. See what I got. Hello, everyone. It's Vernon, the mature patriot. I know you guys think I've fallen off the face of the earth or died, but I'm still here. Um, just giving you a health and welfare update. My um, had it, finally got an MRI on my lower back, and um, I've got some bulging discs that are pressing on, pressing on some nerve roots and some other arthritic changes and stuff that are causing problems. So. I'm going to have to make an appointment tomorrow with a neurosurgeon and see if I can get that taken care of. So before I get laid up with that and not able to do anything for a few weeks, I got my son to run me down to the local recycler today. I was down there going by there the other day and saw uh, an 18-wheeler turn in loaded with used propane tanks. Looks like a 200-pound uh, tank, maybe. 150, maybe. I don't, I'm not for sure. I know the tank weighed 200 pounds, but anyway. So, um, I picked up one of those to build a rocket heater for my son. And while I was there getting that, of course, they loaded it for me. All I did was lower the tailgate on my truck. So I'll show you what I got at the, at the recycler. I'm going to have to go back tomorrow. I'm going to take my truck tomorrow. They've got some, some uh, square pipe down there that I need for the internals on that rocket heater. And uh, I'm going to pick that up and look and see if there's any more of the stainless round stock laying there. And... Uh, Pick up some more of the round stock. I'm not going to pick up any more of the rounds, but um, but I'll get that stuff to build that rocket heater and, and see if we can get that going. I'll show that as a project. Well, hold on, guys, and I'll show you what I picked up down there. I was there what, uh, two days ago. And I saw a, a load of... Uh, propane tanks going into the scrap yard on a flatbed and I went down and picked one up. I'm going to try to build a rocket heater for my son to go in his building. And there was a, a I don't know where they got these in from, but there was a pile of these rounds. Looks like they measure anywhere from three inches to eight inches that was about four feet high and about 20 feet across and laying next to it was some round stock that looks to be what an inch and a quarter about 10 inches long and these are varying anywhere from two inches to three, three and a half. And there was some stainless and so I was able to get that today. I plan on making a run back down tomorrow. They've got some square pipe down there that's uh, got a quarter inch wall on it. I'm gonna use that to help build the uh, internals of the rocket heater. So that was pretty good. I told the scrap guy, I said, now, I know when you look at these rounds and stuff, you see scrap metal. I said, but when I look at something like that, I see gears and pulleys and other things like that. Just like this round stock down here. Now, some of this looks like uh, 1018 coal roll. Some of it looks like hot roll from the mill scale and stuff on it. Uh, the rounds, they all look like uh, either stainless or 1018. I may be wrong. Of course, it's mystery metal. 
I couldn't prove the heritage of any of it. That one piece of stainless right here on the end is pretty sweet. Let me, yeah, that looks like that's an inch and a quarter. But it's, uh, that's pretty sweet. This stuff's been laying outside, so there's not much rust on it, so. Well, turn off, dadgum, yeah. I hate phones that think they're smarter than I am. 